Hi guys, welcome back to today's video. So, we're going to ignore the fact that my nails are chipped because that's what we're going to do today. And I'm going to be giving you my Inktober 2019 tour. So, let's just get on into it. So prompt number one was ring, and I took this to mean ring like an alarm clock. So I made this cute little bear alarm clock, and it's honestly one of my favorite prompts. And on the back, I just write down Inktober 2019, whatever day it was and whatever the prompt was. The next prompt was mindless, so of course I just drew an outline of a brain where a brain should be, but it's not there anymore because, you know, you're mindless. And any and all of the supplies that I used during this month, I made a whole video on that, so that'll be linked in the card for you guys to see if you want to check that out. Prompt number three was bait, so I made a little gummy worm on a hook. Super cute. Prompt number four was freeze, so of course here's a T-Rex frozen in a block of ice, but he's unfreezing because, you know, it has to be a little spooky, right? Since it's Inktober and Halloween and all that stuff. Prompt number five was build, and... For this one, I wasn't too sure what to do, but I had recently visited Pittsburgh, so I just drew a little bit of the skyline and then made it drip, because I thought that would be fun to try out with this ink. And it was. It turned out alright. The next prompt was husky, so I drew a little husky dog, made him blue, and gave him a neat little textured black background. This one was a lot of fun to work on, I really like how it turned out. The next prompt that I worked on was... Day number seven, Enchanted. This is about where all of my ideas started to get a little bit worse. And I only thought of a wand for this one and it's a little bit shiny. All these inks have some kind of shimmer in them, but my camera doesn't pick up all of it. I swear, they all shimmer though. And yes, that is my failed star on the back of that prompt. <laughs> the next prompt I picked for Frail was my kidney whenever it decided to block itself off and poison me and tried to kill me. Cause you know, Humans are frail, and one tiny little organ deciding it wanted to be a traitor can, um, almost kill you sometimes, because, you know, that's fun, right? <laughs> the next prompt was swing, so I just drew a swing, and I used the wood grain in the seat to sort of practice with my dip pen, and found that is a really good way to practice with dip pens without too much stress. The next prompt was pattern. So I drew this little puzzle that's a candy corn with one piece missing and this spoopy little creature guy peeking out from the bottom corner. My husband helped me with this prompt and I really, really like it. It's one of my favorites. Day number 11 was snow. Oh yeah, for prompt number 10, I kind of forgot to write that it was prompt number 10 on the back, so I was writing that in real quick. <laughs> prompt number 11 was snow and where I grow up, or where I grew up, um, it would sometimes snow in October around Halloween. Sometimes our jack-o'-lanterns would get covered with snow. So I was pretty much just recreating an image that I had seen during my childhood. You know, who doesn't love to go trick-or-treating and then sled riding? <laughs> Day number 12, or prompt number 12, was dragon. So I drew this cute little baby dragon just poking its head out of these, you know, this egg. And it's a dragon. I don't know. I like how this one turned out, though. The, just the composition and the colors, I think it works really well together, so I was pretty proud how that turned out. Prompt number 13 was Ash, so I made this cute little poem. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust, you think I'm still down here? I admire your trust. Ugh, good little spoopy little graveyard stone thing. And this is me trying to show off the shimmer, which kind of gets picked up with the light. It's... A I think a little bit easier to see on some of the other prompts, some of the other colors, but yeah. This next prompt was overgrown and I just practiced layering the ink on top of each other and again, this is me trying to show off that shimmer, which kind of works. It's honestly just, it looks better in person than on camera. But yeah, the next prompt was legend. So I thought about the legend and Beauty and the Beast with the rose where, you know, the beast has to fall in love by a certain amount of time before all the petals come off or else he's stuck as a beast forever. So, I don't really like how this prompt looks, but it was fun trying to put this concept into a picture that wasn't exactly resembling how it is in the cartoon. The next prompt was wild, so I just decided to draw a little wild animal. This is a Gareth, Jareth, or Garafe, however you pronounce it. And yeah, he has a little tag that says wild child because he's a crazy captive wild animal. 
Yeah, I thought real deep during this prompt about when we capture wild animals, are they still wild? I don't know. Prompt number 17 was ornament. So I just drew this little ornament and it's broken on the one side, although I didn't really draw on the line art to show that off too well because I thought it would break up the image too much. And in this ornament, I thought there's this little potion and there's like magic flying out of it. I, I just really like how this concept turned out and just using some of the lines in the background to show that what's the background, what is the ornament, that sort of thing. So it was just fun testing out some different textures. This next prompt, prompt number 18, was Misfit. I have a video on this prompt as well. And this is just me showing off this blue jack-o'-lantern that wanted to be a superhero because it's different and doesn't fit in with the other pumpkins. I don't know, it works. <laughs> the next prompt I had was sling. At first I thought about like your arm in a sling if you're injured, but then I thought about a slingshot. So I made a little jack-o'-lantern sitting in a slingshot, ready to be thrown off somewhere. And one of my friends told me that it reminded them of Nightmare Before Christmas. And I take that as a huge compliment. I really like this prompt. <laughs> so the next prompt that I had was tread. And for this one, I was really lost on what to do at first. So I just thought about tread like from boots. But then I made the boots sort of explode because whoever was wearing them, oh, they're a werewolf and they transformed into a werewolf. How delightful. So yeah, that's um, kind of what I did for Tread. And yes, if you haven't noticed by now, I am doing a voiceover. And that's because the rain in the background from when I actually talked through this video, it was way too loud. So I have to redo all of it. But yeah, prompt number 21 was treasure. And so I drew a book that contained some sort of treasured information because I thought that was cute. And honestly, I just didn't want to draw a treasure chest. The next prompt was ghost, which just seemed a little too easy. So I had to draw two ghosts that are stuck together. I thought it was cute. One of them's a little surprised and the other one's more upset than the other about being stuck to another ghost for all of eternity. I'd be pretty terrified too, cause I like to be alone. <laughs> and the next prompt was ancient. So I was thinking about like ancient Egypt and just sort of those like ceramic things that they put either organs in or like the ashes of a pet that's passed away. So that's what I did. I just made this little like cat headed ceramic thing and put some stipply dots in it to add some texture. I'm pretty happy how this turned out and I think it works pretty well for ancient. So I like that one. Prompt 24 was dizzy. So I just made sort of those dizzy symbols that cartoon characters get when they bump their head or something. Just, it was another way for me to practice with my dip pen. So. It's not the most exciting prompt, but it helped me a lot with technique, so I'm happy with it. <laughs> prompt 25 was tasty, and there were too many foods for me to figure out which one to pick to draw, so I thought about going with the uh, sort of emotion of tasty. So it's just lips with, you know, licking themselves, I guess, or tasty. I don't know. It was a weird prompt. Not a big fan of that one. Tr prompt 26 was dark and I really like this one because it's just this dark little hand going up to turn out a light bulb that happens to have a creepy little face in it. I really like the action lines of this one because it looks like it's something out of like a storybook or something and I really like that. Prompt 29 was coat so I drew the invisible man wearing a gold hat, gold coat, and gold shoes because just because he's invisible doesn't mean he doesn't want to be shown off sometimes. I don't know. That's what I went with. Prompt 28 was ride and I went with something spooky. So I decided to go with a witch's broom and smeared it when I was ready to take a picture of it. So I, um, yeah, I'd fix that. So I added some stars sort of coming off of the side of the broom to make it make more sense as to why there's stars flowing out behind it. It sort of worked. And I mean, you know, sometimes you mess up art and you have to fix it. So I'm okay with how it turned out. Prompt 29 was injured and I just wanted to draw some kind of something that was cut up. So I picked this tentacle leg and it's just being cut up by this cleaver on some kind of cutting board. And I used this line technique again, so I didn't have to actually draw out the cutting board, but you can still tell that it's there. And I just have this purple ink coming out of this tentacle, even though that's not really how it works, but I don't know, it's something. And I already picked up purple ink for that day, so. I'm okay with it. I like it. It doesn't have to make sense because it's cartoony. <laughs> prompt 30 was catch. So I thought about this hand catching something and thought about 
catching a cold in like a physical sense. So here's a spooky hand catching a cold. And I just like how this prompt turned out. It's blobby and weird and some of the ink dried a little bit more 3D-ish and I just really like how it turned out. So this is definitely one of my favorites. And the final prompt, prompt 31, was ripe. So I drew a pear. I know, really exciting. A fruit. Oh, who would have thought? But I got to do this cross-hatching background and I really like it. I, it's honestly one of the best techniques that I learned throughout this whole month. So yeah, thanks so much for watching my Inktober tour, guys. I will give you a overview shot of everything. And yeah, if you like it, hit that like button. If you aren't subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe. If you did Inktober yourself, congratulations on getting through it, whether you did one day or all 31. You're awesome. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. So have an awesome day, guys. Bye. Do you want to see more shenanigans? Then make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Oh, you want to see more shenanigans like right now? Then check out these suggestions on your screen or head on over to my Instagram. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Check back soon for some more shenanigans. Bye.